Hi, everybody. I'm Steve Brusati. I'm a paleontologist and a writer, and I'm incredibly excited about my new book, The Rise and Reign of the Mammals, which is out now. A few years ago, I wrote a book called The Rise and Fall of the Dinosaurs, and much of my research in my early career has focused on dinosaurs, but over the last couple of years, I've turned my attention much closer to home. Have you ever wondered where we came from? Us! Human beings, we are a mammal, and we are part of this family of mammals that goes back hundreds of millions of years. And our ancestors have survived so much. Global warming, ice ages, asteroids, volcanoes, over a hundred million years of living underfoot of the dinosaurs. Some of our fossil mammal cousins are well known. Woolly mammoths, saber-toothed tigers, those charismatic animals of the ice age, and human species like Neanderthals that came before us. But there were so many other fossil mammals that were astounding in their own ways. There were mammals that ate baby dinosaurs for breakfast. There were whales that once walked on the land with arms and legs. The first elephants were the size of miniature poodles. There were armadillos the size of Volkswagens. There were sloths that were so tall that they could dunk a basketball. Mammals like us are the product of over 300 million years of evolution, of countless fossil ancestors, animals whose bones and teeth we find as fossils and that we can study. And today, there are over 6,000 species of mammals that share our world, our very closest cousins, cats and dogs and lions and tigers and elephants and whales. But all of today's mammals are merely the last surviving ones of an incredibly rich, pedigree that extends so deep into the past. There have been so many incredible mammal species that lived in the distant past whose fossils we find today. Woolly mammoths, saber-toothed tigers, giant ground sloths, even other species of humans that once existed like Neanderthals. And it is this complete story of mammal evolution that I tell in the book, the past, the present, and a little bit about the future. Because right now, mammals are in a perilous state. The world is changing around us quickly. And the fossil record, the evolutionary history of mammals, can help us better understand where we are going as a species. <laughs>